Do you want to know why selling is so important in dentistry? Hi, I'm Dr. Herman Gomez and I'm in Valencia, Spain. And today we will talk about the importance of selling. You will get to know facts about sales and why you are selling yourself short. So, if we are talking about sales and a salesperson, a normal salesperson, what comes into your mind? Usually, what comes into mind is like persuasion, rejection, pressure, convincing, door-to-door -door sales, call, uh, cold, cold calling, and a used car sales rep. You know what I mean? Like, everything is like a little bit negative. So mostly negative associations. But selling is something completely different to that. We are all in sales the whole time. As a parent, in marriage, as a single, you are selling. You're selling you and your ideas the whole time. Now, in the office, you also should be selling products and services. Okay? So, we are selling the whole time our ideas uh, uh, to our kids. Like, uh, you have to um, uh, behave, you have to go to school, you have to go to college, you have to learn, you have to study. Um, all that thing, these things that we think that are okay. We are selling our kids on it. Well, we think that our treatments are good we should be selling our patients on these treatments, okay? Now, facts about sales. Closing is not convincing to do something they didn't want to do, okay? So, a close is not something that I convince somebody who doesn't want to do a treatment so that he will finally do the treatment. That's not closing, that's not selling. Okay? Closing is the natural end to a good presentation to a patient that showed interest. So, a patient is interested in something. For example, I would like to enhance my smile. So, you do some questions, you find out what's wrong with his smile. What do, does he think is wrong with his smile? Okay? And after these questions, you go and present your way to how to solve these problems. And at the end, you ask the patient gently to make the treatment with you. That's the close. And the whole procedure is called the sales procedure. That's it. And we will get to know all the steps and how to do them in a professional way. Hmm? Good. Selling is to get people what they want. That's selling. All you do is give them all the information they need to make an educated decision to move forward and buy your treatment or not to move forward and not buy your treatment. So, if after the information you have given them, you both think that's not the right thing to do for this patient, then you just don't do it. Okay? You cannot help your patients if you don't sell to them. <laughs> if you don't sell to your patient, somebody else will do the treatment, not you. Selling something good is not bad. If you believe in your skills and treatments, you should be morally obligated to sell them to the patient. Now, if you think you can make a treatment as good or better than your competition and you don't show to the patient these options, the options that he has, the options that you could do for him, 
and then ask him to do it with you, then somebody else will do that. Okay? Like if you don't, if you don't sell, it's like um, a farmer who plants corn. Okay, and after planting corn, you don't close, you don't sell after presenting your your option. Okay, you don't close. Imagine you don't close then. It's like a farmer who who plants corn and then does not water that corn. He relies on what comes from the sky. That means the rain. If it rains or not. Well, it can rain, then he's lucky. Or it cannot rain. Then he lost all the corn that he has planted. Okay? Same to you. If you don't ask for the sale, if you don't ask for the close, for the acceptance, then it's if he still makes it with you, it was a coincidence. It was luck. So until now, a lot of dentists are lucky <laughs> that their patients do it with them. You can increase that luck by, in the case of the farmer, by watering, and in your case, by asking for the acceptance. Close. Closing. Okay? If your intention is poor, pure, if your intention is pure, okay, if you believe in your skills and the treatments that you are offering, and your intention is pure, then you should be morally obligated to sell to them. Otherwise, some, somebody else will do maybe the same treatment, maybe another treatment, maybe with pure intentions, maybe not with pure intentions. You don't know. Okay? Now, your treatment will help them It will enhance their lives. You're sure about that? If you're sure about that, then go ahead and sell. If the patient says yes, if the patient says, I need to think about it, do you think that his problem is solved by not buying your treatment? No, it's still there. He still has the problem. So he has to buy your treatment to get rid of the problem, you have to ask him to buy from you. That's selling. Without the close, so if you don't sell, you're not helping anybody. You're only helping the ones, like the rain that comes from the sky, the ones that by accident um, just uh, uh, make it with you, you know? But if you can close that sale, if you can communicate your value, then you can help them. You are selling certainty. You are sure about your treatment and people perceive that certainty. But you have to be certain and you have to have pure intentions. That's what people buy. They believe you. They buy into that. We sell certainty in an uncertain world. Have that always in mind when you make the sales presentation to your patient. You are selling yourself short. Your sales ability equals your earning ability. If you are not able to sell, your earnings will be down here. If you are able to sell, your earnings go, will go up because people will say yes, will do the treatment with you. Okay? So the more you can sell, the higher will your earnings be. That's logic. The number one skill as an entrepreneur is sales. And listen, when we left dental school or medical school, um, Nobody has prepared us to be entrepreneurs. But as soon as we open up a dental office or a private medical office, we are entrepreneurs. And in that moment, we need to be able to sell. 
no sales, no income. No income, you cannot pay the expenses of the enterprise, of the office. You cannot pay these expenses. So that's why the number one skill as an entrepreneur is to be able to sell. That's why it's so important. A lot of entrepreneurs in dentistries struggle because they can't sell. They don't know how to sell. So they start to struggle. Nobody goes out of business because of too much sales or too much revenue. But a lot of people go out of business because they didn't sell enough. They didn't make enough revenue. You can always sell more of a person once, but not less. So if a, a person wants this, you can still upsell him to a little bit more. But if you sell him less than that, when you sell them less of what they want, you make them, you, you're doing them a disservice. There is no relationship in being good at what you do, being a great clinician, and getting paid. There is no relationship. You can be the best clinician in the US or in Europe or in Asia or in Africa or in Australia. You can be the best, but this does not guarantee that you will make a lot of money or that you will make a good living. Okay, But there is a huge relationship between in being good at what you do, this is being good at what you do as a clinician, as a dentist, as a physician, is the basis. If you're not good, <laughs> you're also not able to sell um, on a long term really well to patients because it comes back to you. Okay? Your low skills, your low clinical skills will backfire to you on the long term. Okay, so there is a huge relationship in being good at what you do, being able to sell and getting paid. There is a huge uh, relationship. So you need both. You need to be very good clinically. So get as, as much as you can um, continuing education in all the fields of dentistry, in all the fields of your specialty in medicine. And after that, or during you do that, also get, uh, get um, skills in business management, in selling, in marketing, and so on. Whoever makes the question controls the, controls the situation in a conversation. Okay? So, um, this is why, this is now important in selling, okay? Now, we know that selling is important, but what is important inside of selling is make questions. You control the, you have to control the situation the whole time. You don't have to go into the, a defensive mode, okay? So, do, your plan is to do 20% of the talk and let the patient do 80% of the talk. And you make the questions according to what the patient tells you. Let them sell themselves. So let them see that what you will present later is the best solution. Because they talk themselves into that way. Okay? Because of your questions. You can put the questions in a certain direction. You, will, you can uh, learn that in a communication course that I will, uh, I have also prepared a, a communication course. This is about selling here. Answer uneasy questions with a question. So if you feel you always in a conversation have to appear as if you have 
all the, the answers and as if you have the complete control of everything because you are sure, you're certain. Remember, you sell certainty, okay? So, if there comes an uneasy question, you should, and you don't know what to say, you should answer with a question. Let me explain to you, okay? Why is it so expensive? Uh, I don't know. Okay, then you answer with a question like, why do you think hundreds of patients have invested this amount in their smile? Invested, not paid, not spent, invested. Okay, that's very important that you uh, choose your language. We will talk about that later. I hope uh, this video was uh, helpful for you. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, please subscribe to this channel, click on the bell, turn on notific notifications, like this video, share this video and comment below. Bye.